Congrats, how does it feel? First game, got a goal, won it for the breakers. Yeah, do you know what? It was just great to be playing football again. It's been three months since I played my last game. So, you know, I played under Matt since I was 17. I've known him and I know that he really like respects me as a player and I respect him as a coach. So I just wanted to help the team get their win. I've been watching every game and they've been so close and they've been unlucky. So, you know, for me, first and foremost, I just wanted to work hard and try and help the team win and to get a goal, you know, even better. So it's nice, going to be a nice break now anyway. Was it longer than you thought you'd play, about 80 minutes, even though you've been in the country, like, what, three days? Yeah, you know, for me, it's like, I just, I'd run through brick, a brick wall for Matt, you know, I've, I've known him since I was a kid, so, and that's why he brought me here, because he knows that I want to play for him, and, you know, I'm so excited to be involved at Boston Breakers, I, I feel privileged to be involved, to be honest, and, like I said, absolutely buzzing to get the three points for the girls, I've been here for a couple of days, and they've made me feel so welcome, and they're a great bunch. I mean, you already have the scarf from the Armada. Huh? Yeah, it was a shocked out of my head then. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, pretty much an ideal night to come into Boston, score a goal, and, yeah. and get the win. So, just in terms of you know what you're hoping to accomplish for the rest of the season, I mean, it's immediately into the Olympic break. So, yeah. you know, what are the goals for that break and then for the tail end of the season? Like I said, for me, it, like it's been three months since I've played, so I'm just so excited to be back playing football again and. You know, what a perfect night. And I feel like I said, lucky to be playing. Um, now I want to just work on, you know, my fitness, my, my sharpness, because, you know, it has been a while since I've played. So it's ideal now that I've got three weeks to really get myself back sharp and fit. And, you know, for us, the season isn't over. You know, we've still got six games is it left and we can go on a great run now. You know, we've, we've got momentum now. We've won a, won a game. And so I don't see why we can't finish as high at the table as we can. And, you know, I'm a winner and I know Matt's a winner and I know the girls are winners. So... It felt great today and the crowd were unbelievable as well, which was a massive boost for us. So I'm just excited, you know, I, I want to be a big personality here at Boston. I, I hope the crowd like me and I just want to bring success to this good club. Coach, was this really a no-brainer to bring Natasha over like that? Or is it perfect alignment of the stars or what? Something like that, yeah. No, I, I mean, we, um, I mean, because my appointment was uh, obviously late and I didn't know the draft system and stuff like that and Natasha got herself sorted at, um, at Doncaster so she was someone that we was we was talking about but with the time scales it didn't didn't work out at the start of the year um, we were having less than six months on her contract we we had we were within our rights to to speak to her agent about 2017 to see what her thoughts were um, and then out the blue um, a, 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 mutually terminated a contract with our other club so for us straight away we wanted to make it happen um, obviously I've had great success with Natasha at, at Liverpool and we had a good little spell together at Charlton as well so from that side of things I know that the opportunity she got tonight I knew she'd score it so previously we've had opportunities like that and we've not we've not taken them so for me to have someone that's gonna convert them goal scoring opportunities to clear cut ones it, for me it was a uh, and I'm just glad that she's here again. What for you were some of the keys tonight in beating Orlando? Um, we, we, we worked on a high press all week with regards to not letting their centre halves have, 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 the, have the ball. We, we tweaked what we've done out of possession slightly because in Orlando you couldn't press. I mean, even I lost about ten pounds walking up and down the touchline. <laughs> it was that hot, so um, I, I might need to spend a couple of weeks here. But. Um, but no, we, we, we wanted to stop them playing and I, and I felt we'd done that. I felt first half, especially when we got the goal, we looked a little bit nervous, you could see that. And I wanted us to be a little bit more braver in possession, especially getting the full backs forward and creating the overloads. And I felt we'd done that better in the second half. So there's plenty of positives to take. Clean sheet for Jamie. I thought our distribution was good tonight. Um, obviously, we had the luck with that penalty decision at the end. You know, yeah. That would have gone against us last week or the week before that. So I'm just pleased that we've kept a clean sheet and we've got another three points and it means that we can go into this break in a positive frame of mind. Um, we've got to play Houston twice so we can still catch them. We've got New York here twice. Um, and, then, and then we've got you know Portland and Kansas away. So there's still plenty of point for us plenty of points for us to play for and, and pick up. And like I said, we still we still want to finish the season positively, even though we're in a bit of a sticky situation right now. Thank you, Coach. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.